Hello fellow pilots and welcome back to RC with Adam. Today we're swapping out the arm on our iFlight Sedora frame. And the reason why is because we have some issues with it. That's right, it snapped off right about where the first motor screws are put into the frame. So kind of that change in the uh, the width of the frame right there, or the arm right there. So that's pretty crazy. We got some nice gnarly delamination right there. And be careful because those edges are very sharp. So if that happens, don't go touching those edges. The reason why this happened is because I, I pulled a silly and I disarmed when I was uh, aft in, in the air, obviously, and after a punch out and um, it just came straight down and apparently landed right on this arm and shabam, snapped it off. I got you. Oh shoot, no. Also, this might be an issue, might not, we'll see. Um, it looks like it actually sort of drove the entire motor and mo you know motor wire uh, uh, assembly up towards the um, this plastic piece, which is actually to protect the motor wires right there. So ironically, this piece that's intended to protect the motor wires actually caused a kind of a cut um, in the motor wires towards the towards the motor close to the motor so we'll take a closer look at that as well anyway so let's go through the uh, entire process of swapping out an arm now of course we're going to need a spare arm a replacement arm i got this one from pyrodrone and uh, take note that this is the version one of the frame so at this point there is now a version two of the sedora frame this is version one now the version two is slightly different from the version one so that's not going to work you need the version one for version one frame all right let's begin by removing all of the propellers so that way it's easier to work on this thing and here's a hot tip for you if you ever have problems getting a grip on the motor to loosen the propeller, take a rubber band and just kind of wrap it or sort of place it around the motor. And then that will help you grip the motor. And it should be a lot easier to take the propeller off. I also like to sort of grab the propeller as well. And you can get it off like that. I'm going to cut away this electrical tape that I put on there because this plastic piece, this clear plastic piece that's uh, it's like a tube and it's intended to protect the motor wires. Well, uh, previously I had damaged that and it sort of sort of shattered really. Um, so I wrapped this electrical tape around there to protect it. So I need to cut that off. And I'll just get some scissors and actually just cut through the plastic here. We'll just kind of bend that plastic out of the way. And now our motor is free. And let's go ahead and remove the, the motor screws here. These are M3 motor screws that use an M2 driver. All right, and we'll just uh, set these screws aside because we will reuse them in just a moment. Okay, and now I think you can see this. We have a little bit of a cut right there. We'll do something to seal that up or at least put a little bit of electrical tape around it to protect that exposed wire. There we go, something like that. So it's not exactly the prettiest method, but you know, it's cheap and effective. Okay, now we need to remove the screws that hold in the arm. So I'll start, let's see, let's just kind of put the motor somewhere out of the way. And we'll just start by taking this one out right here. Next, we'll get this screw right here that's going through the standoff. So I'm going to need to get another driver to tighten, uh, to keep the standoff tight right about there. Yeah. There we go. So this will keep the standoff tight as I as I loosen this screw. Whoa, whoa. Okay, and note that this screw is longer than the other screws. And then we need to loosen this screw as well. Now this one is actually going uh, through the stack. 
So we just keep that in mind. It's actually, if you take this out too far, you will loosen up your entire uh, flight stack. All right, so that one's loose. And now we can just wiggle this out. It comes right out, actually. So you can see it was going in like that. We'll get rid of that thing because we don't need that anymore. And we'll get our new arm, and this can only go in one way. We want this little point going forward. And it's going to go in just like that. So I'll go ahead and, th and thread all of the screws before I tighten any of them down. Remember, the screw that goes through the flight stack uh, just has um, plastic uh, screw, uh, screws on here. So don't tighten that one down very tight. It just needs to be um, just snug. And then we can tighten the rest of the screws down. Now, we don't want to strip out the screw but we uh, or the standoff, but we do want it to be very tight. Very tight. Okay, there we go. We got the new arm in place. That's nice. So since we don't have the protective plastic over the motor wires, I'll just go ahead and cut a strip of a uh, like an old credit card or a hotel key card, basically just a piece of hard plastic to go over top of the wires, and then I'll wrap them with electrical tape. All right, now let's reattach our motor. All right, and you could reapply some fresh Loctite if you wanted to, but I found these, uh, these seem to be pretty tight in here with the uh, previous Loctite still on the, thre on the threads. Looking good. All right, now we'll take our piece of plastic Put the electrical tape over it just to hold things in place. Maybe something like that. Now we can take the rest of the tape and wrap it around. There we go. Well, congratulations, you just repaired your arm. So now you can get out there and go flying. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope this was helpful, and I will catch you on the next one. We'll get, I mean, we get bars.